hey, the worst thing just happened. This is what happens when I'm here. I put Rob off and he was, he put the black tank flush on and forgot about it. So I started talking about this. So, uh, yeah, just shoot the film and Might have to cut this short and leave because there's no way we're doing a tour inside <laughs> now, is there? Time out. We'll see. Welcome back to Brazen Brits. My name is Lawrence. Uh, Natalie is not with me because she's away. Plus, also, I came here on uh, on this, um, which is a little gift that I bought myself. So, if you would like me to do more on this, then please leave a comment below. I only need one comment as an excuse to do this, but I can tell you about this. But anyway, we are here at Wilderness RV Park now. We have done a video about this previously and because our friends Rob and Michelle and actually it's one of our most popular videos bought this RV pad here and there has been some changes not only that they've just bought a brand new Brinkley and it's about two weeks old so we're gonna go and check it that really out. Makes me wonder. <laughs> So if you saw our video, we were talking to Rob and Michelle about buying a place here. Thank you for replying to comments. People had a lot of questions, and I know you go on there every now and then and reply to those yeah. comments. Um, so it's been, what, two years now? Uh, almost three, about two and a half. Oh, wow, yeah. and you had just moved in when yeah. we did that video. So after two and a half years, mm -hmm. Good choice, bad choice? Fantastic choice. Really? No Best. regrets? No regrets at all. Really? We love it. You should yeah. get that tattooed. No, no regrets. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, we've made great friends with our neighbors and we became closer um, to all these guys around here. Um, we got the work done that we were getting, getting ready to do and got the new rig, so life's yeah. great. So last time we were here, there was nothing. It was just the pad. That was it. And you have now put a shed in, which has plumbing for a toilet yeah. in there, yeah. a bit of a workshop. Yeah. And you have the, uh, the what do you call it? The patio area with yeah. seating and stuff like that. Yeah. So perfect and you got fridges and power and everything yep. out there everything's so. all out there in a sink and everything yeah one thing uh, i noticed here is you know everyone we yeah. just went around on the golf cart quickly to go and take some trash yeah. out and you know everyone yeah everyone knows everyone so it's really nice it's a really nice neighborhood yeah all right we good. love it well good so there's the update on wilderness rv resort, resort. Yep. um and so i'm glad there's no regrets because <laughs> some people uh, and I apologize for some of the comments, believe it or not. No worries. There were some nasty comments on there. No worries. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah I'm that. sorry about that. I know you yeah. can, you're a big boy. The, the biggest thing is, is that we know we have a spot to go in Florida in the winter. Yeah. We ain't got to fight, we ain't got to look, we ain't got to book a year in advance. Yeah. We know, and it's ours. Yeah. It's ours. And it's an investment, so. Yeah, no and you're still you're still renting this out. Obviously, it's over the summer, so it's not right. like you're renting it out completely. But this is still up for rent. So yeah, somebody wants it. So they're actually leaving here tomorrow. You're tomorrow. going back up to Ohio, see yeah. family, and then you'll be back in October. So right. if you're looking for somewhere in Florida to stay, very very nice place. Now this is restricted. You have to have full body paint. Well, they've or? kind of relaxed on the body okay. paint, but it's got to be a newer newer rig um, and shiny. It can't be like an old ten sided or or faded. Yeah, okay. And it um, can't be a travel trailer either. Can't be a travel trailer. It's got to be okay. a fifth wheel or a motorhome. And that counts even for you renting it out. Correct. Okay. So if you have a travel trailer, sorry, if you have a fifth wheel or a motorhome, yep, and it's new and shiny, yep, then you can stay here and rent that spot. Essentially. Yep. Okay. Now what everyone's here <laughs> for is to check out the new Brinkley. This right here is why we got the toy hauler. This. So that one decision of that. Yeah. Is the reason you had to change your entire house. Yes. It's very nice, yeah. and I particularly like it is because you specifically got it in brazen Brits orange. I did. Yeah. Okay. I saw it, knew knew that's the one I had to have. Yep. And it has got the sticker on it somewhere, doesn't it? It does. Well, I actually put it on my helmet. Oh. There it is. There you go. So if you see someone <laughs> riding around, or if you want a sticker, you can just let us know. We will send you one, or you can buy them online. But we we don't mind. We just hand them out, so yeah, thanks. Yeah. Good bit of advertising, or yeah, maybe right. a bad bit of advertising, depending on how you ride. <laughs> right. So you got, okay, tell me about the model. So you, wait, 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 wait. First of all, you went from the Grand Design Solitude. Solitude the 382WB. Okay, so, so was that a was a huge front living area. Front living. Then you had like the kitchen, kitchen. in the middle, and then a nice big bedroom with a bathroom, big huge bathroom, bathroom at yeah. the back. So yep. this is completely different. Completely. So what did you get, what is this? So this is the G3500. Um, it's the toy hauler with the 11 foot garage. 
Okay. So, and it's a basic toy hauler layout. So you got the bedroom at the front um, with the washer and dryer and the big closet um, and the regular size bathroom. Yep. No more a big bathroom, which that's what she's missing is the bathroom. Um, nice big kitchen with the seating, you know, the big, yep. big sofa. Um, and then the garage, of course, for the motorcycle. Well, we'll we'll go uh, we'll go out and we'll check out the inside in a moment. Yeah. Um, but uh, you've had this for two weeks, three weeks, three weeks. It's brand new. It even yeah. smells new in there. Rob's Rob hasn't scented yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, so it's all new. And so in three weeks, um, do you prefer? Well, what do you like and dislike? Just you know, compared to the the solitude. Obviously, you have the garage, which is the big thing. So That's you can put the, big the thing. Yep, exactly. Um, yep. The tanks seem to fill up faster. Um, on the solitude, we could go over a week before we had to do any kind of dumping and flushing and everything. This one, um, if it's a week, if we went a week, it would be maxed out. It'd right. be completely and, and, full. And we actually had a conversation a moment ago about this. So two there black is, tanks. you have two black tanks. The black tanks are for the toilets and the sinks. Yes, in the bathroom, the sinks go into the black tanks with the toilets. Okay, and then there's one gray tank for the washer, shower, and the kitchen. Correct. Okay, that makes sense. So when he first said this a moment ago, I thought that's weird because the black tanks are going to fill up really quick. However, actually, you did make a good point. A lot of people make the mistake of not using enough water on the black right. tanks. So right. actually having those sinks go into the there is probably, it's probably a good idea, actually. It absolutely, absolutely is. It so, really yeah. does help. But it does fill it up faster. So yeah. we're still getting used to that. Yeah. But you typically have full hookups anyway. Most you typically, yeah. So... Brinkley really did a lot of good um, forethought into building this and they added a lot of things that some, sometimes you say, man, I wish I had this or man, I wish I had that. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they've already done it. Um, like this is a, a, a retractable cord reel for an extension cord. Huh, so you can just plug the golf cart straight yeah, in I can here. just play, plug it straight in. And this is always here. Okay. It's always plugged in and I've always got power. So, um, and it retracts. Cut that, yeah. If it does you can. Retract. <laughs> uh, toy haulers, they always come with a fuel station. Yep. Like this to fuel up your toys or whatever. Oops, wrong. Um, but again, Brinkley really went above and beyond and they added a air compressor as well. Oh, no way. So, and, it, and it's got a retractable hose here as well. So you can do all your tires. Um, it'll reach clear up to the front to the truck. Wow. And do all the tires and everything. So for having storage here, which is really cool, nice, lots of storage. Um, but it, it comes with all of these Morai trays, even under here. This is standard. These aren't extra. These are standard, yeah. Wow. This is all standard. There's wow. another one on the other side, too. How is the storage compared to the Solitude you had? So the Solitude had a ton of storage, right? You had the whole back tray. The whole back stuff, right? tray, the side doors. Um, so everything from there is now up here. So I've had to do some figuring out how to get everything in here, but it's fit pretty nicely. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to be heavy on my pin, on my pin weight, um, for that reason, because everything's been moved forward. Yeah. It's in front of um, the, the axles. It is in front of it, exactly. Yeah. Uh, once I get the motorcycle and the golf cart loaded, though, that, that might help balance it out. Yeah, true. Because right now, it's, everything's up front. Yeah, and so the, that, that and makes sense of why back. they've done that then. And right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I noticed there's a there's a camera system up here that came with it as well. Yeah, standard. That so it comes with it. it. You get a screen and everything? Yeah, I just put it in, um, actually two days ago, I just put it in the truck, so I've never even used it. Oh, wow. So the whole trip back from Georgia, I never even used it. Oh right, cool. So because it's pretty cool, it comes with it. Yeah, like, just you know. it's standard. Yeah. yeah. So it's the, again, that's just frankly up in the game for everybody. And then so uh, and then pretty much finally, what's uh, what's the uh, what's what do you have in here? I assume one is a generator. Oh wow, yeah. that's that's big storage. So there. so this side I have closed off. Okay. And this side is not closed off. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. Okay. Um, but it drops down. It's just magnetized to the roof. Right. So I could either close it oh, off or okay. I could leave it open. Oh, clever. Um, yeah. Where? Hey, the worst thing just happened. This is what happens when I'm here. I put Rob off and he was, he put the black tank flush on and forgot about it. because I started talking about this. So, uh, yeah. So the one thing I learned is that uh, it also has the automatic uh, valves. Yeah, the power valve. 
So I'm interested in how that goes because Me too. I'm a little bit worried about that. Longevity wise. Yeah, yeah. The, the alliances have that as well. And so I'm interested. Let me know how that happens. I will. After yeah. you, uh, I might, we might have to cut this short and leave because there's no way we're doing a tour inside <laughs> now, is there? <laughs> we'll see. Where'd it come from? The toilet? Good thing I don't use it. Are you even a true RVer if you don't flood your black tank at least once? Have you never done this before? It's my second time. <laughs> I did it once in the uh, solitude too. So the good news is that one, you've never used that restroom. It was right. just a storage room because right. you only just got this. Uh, and so it was all clean water. Yeah, it was all clean. So that's yeah. good. And the other thing is, honestly, you were going to load this up anyway. Yeah. So having to move everything out, it's I've literally just all right. Just hurried you a bit. That's all. yeah. Clean the floor up, everything. Yeah, it's going to look great for the video when we do the tour. <laughs> yeah, right. I disagree. I disagree. <laughs> Michelle is not happy with us right now. It's okay. It all came out of the garage toilet so I'll give you a tour of that in a minute if Michelle ever lets us back in <laughs> she might let me in you probably won't be allowed to listen here. this is live right this is this is true camping this happens you just can't get around it I feel bad I feel like it's my fault sorry <laughs> yeah. sorry Rob no not at all so the other thing is at least it was the back black tank so it's literally that's garage floor yeah. so it's not like it's not like ruining the inside of the rig this is you know this is made for like oil leaks and things like that so you, there's no water damage is basically what i'm saying yeah. Yeah. it's just, just there. water it's just shit happens yeah <laughs> see what you did there okay rob this is where the magic happens <laughs> so this is think? the front right yeah this is the front so the yeah, the front of the fifth wheel, so we're up high right now. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm interested. I know you've got all your stuff in here and you don't want to show me all your... That's uh, right. What you oh, look at this. Oh, you guys are so... Okay, so I'm interested. It's got a really pointy front. So what is in that point? That is just that. Okay, mm. so it's... Oh, wow, that goes way back. Yeah. Pretty okay, close. Plenty, of, plenty of clothes. And this is your washer dryer, yep. I assume. Did it come with it? Will you put those in? No, this is from the solitude. We took it out and then uh, me and my neighbors put it, put this back in. Oh yeah, because you had to put the vent hole. You had to yeah. you had to drill I the drill vent it. hole. Yeah. yeah, which he texts me saying, "I'm very scared right now." <laughs> I, I I wouldn't like to. And do then that. I had my neighbor do it because he's a contractor. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got a man to do it. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. Uh, so this is a queen bed. This is our queen. Yeah. You had a king in the solitude. There was. Um, no, the king was in here. We had this oh. in the solitude. We took this oh, back from the solitude. Okay. Um, but it came with the queen, but we like the extra space on the sides. Yeah. So we put the queen in and instead of the king. It forces Michelle to be closer to you yeah, exactly. Mark, rather than being the yeah, other side. We yeah. get to cuddle. I know. Exactly. Yeah. Forced. <laughs> yeah, right? Nice. So you got some shelves here. Uh, you have a little TV there, mm -hmm. a bit of storage behind. You have a nice mm -hmm. cabinet, and then you've got the secret box there, mm -hmm. which isn't a secret. Oh, it slides. Okay. I thought it lifted up. Yeah, that's that makes sense. sense. So you've got stuff on there. You just move it out. Um, there is a piece that fits in there and this becomes your desk oh nice right so they got an insert that goes here and this whole thing becomes your desk that's so you'd very have a, cool a chair up here yeah you have you've got space for yeah. the chair to go underneath exactly yeah that's brilliant all right so this is a big difference from the solitude it is. like that's you had double sinks a huge shower loads yeah. of space in the bathroom how are you coping with it being a lot smaller i do okay uh, Michelle's a little less okay with it. She likes her big bathrooms. I mean, girl yeah. stuff, right? Um, but I do okay with it. It seems to be fine. I mean, you got good storage. There's still yeah. a lot of storage, just not a lot of space. It's not like you can't really you can't really dress in here. Yeah, you don't dress in here really. But this thing here, loads of oh, storage. Wow. Yeah, that goes all the way back. Yep. Wow. But yeah, it's uh, it's and pretty. This tough. is the trash can. Obviously. So as Matt would say, is it a prime pooping position? It is a good poop position. I wish it wasn't round. I wish it was oblong or oval uh, or whatever. Okay. But yeah. other than that, it's it's a nice toilet. It's domestic, so. Yeah. Um, but plenty of room. I mean, nice shower. Got the Max Air Fan, which is what we're most excited uh, for. Okay, is that uh, that standard? Yeah. Yep. All, all three kitchen, two bathrooms have the Max Fans. All right, and another big bit difference. Standard. This is the living area. Um, and before the solitude had what you had like space for six seats. Was it six? You, you had two on two each side and then two in the middle. 
yes. around the TV. So you could have yeah. six people sat there. This is just, I mean, or you could have six people here, but you get a couple of stalls. A couple of stalls, yeah. So you have this. But honestly, where you go, you're outside here anyway, hanging out here, or you're going to be at a campsite. So it's like you don't really have people. So the TV is opposite here. You don't mind the TV being at a slight angle? I don't. No, I've gotten used to it. Um, I thought maybe that was going to be an issue, but it's really not. Okay. You can still see it just fine. And I mean, everything else is pretty, you know, simple. I mean, the, everything's very nice. You have the little fireplace here, the storage up here and down there, you showed me. A um, few things that people love. Do you mind if I... Yeah, go right ahead. So these come down. I think that's genius. Oh, look at the lights. Yeah, I love this. I think, I think Alliance has started doing this as well. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's okay. That's no, 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 you just had to go over a little bit. Oh, nice. And then I want to know, is this just, what is that thing? That goes to the flip up countertop. Oh, so you this. have a whole. So we can extend the countertop. Oh, let me zoom back out here. Look. So we can have three across there and three stools across there if we really wanted to have a big meal with somebody. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, and it goes um, flush. Yep. Yeah, so, so you have all this prep area. I know. I know. Yeah. Uh, Michelle likes that's, to cook. So that's the one thing. That, I mean, having this extra camera space really helps. This probably makes it, you probably have more counter space in here than you had in the solitude. Yeah, though. yeah. Even sure. though the kitchen was probably, well, it's really bad. Well, we had the stuff. island and we had the wine bar. Yeah. But this is totally more, I think. Even oh, that. And these shades are cool. I know a few manufacturers do now. So you can have just a bug thing. So if you open the windows or you can have a blackout and you're saying it's got the reflectix behind on the it. the back of the blackout shade. Of the blackout shade. Yeah. So it reflects on, on, on all of them. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. That's a great idea. The only thing that's annoying, like in the bedroom, are these little holes that um, lets light in. Mm. So, like my neighbor left his outside light on one time, and it beamed right through a little hole right into my face. <laughs> I mean, take it take it with a grain of salt, right? It, you just got to roll over and go back to sleep. But yeah. that was the only thing I did notice. Yeah. First world problems, right? Yeah, right. Oh, it smells bad in here, right? <laughs> no, it don't. <laughs> All right, so this is the garage. So we have the door, which is cool. That goes yeah. straight out. And then Michelle works from the rig full time. So she has uh, her set up here. So Rob's done something very cool. You see, this is the bed up here. And then there are the chairs. This is very common in, in most uh, toy, toy haulers. Yeah. So the chair came down. You took this chair off and then you mounted a desk. Yeah. And so what he can do is he can push this chair up, which isn't a chair, it's a desk, go all the way up and then they can both come down. Yeah. So I guess you only have to take the monitors off or lay them flat, put that up and then it all comes down. Um, so she puts the monitors away up in the front and then okay. she just clears all this off into uh, like a, one of these bags or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then I can raise that up and get the golf cart and the bike in. Nice. So Yeah. Well, that's great. And then, and I was saying about the bed, you're not taking the bed out because uh, you have kids and they come yeah, and visit from Ohio. Mother-in-law. And yeah, know, something. So you always have that bed here. Yeah. There is also a bunk up here, which you're just, you threw the mattress away because uh, you're probably never going to use it, but there is a TV up there and you're just going to use it for storage. It's just storage for us. Yeah, but it was a bunk. I had a mattress. Yeah. But and... I love this. <laughs> Not today we don't love it, yeah. but this is the bathroom, which is all just your storage stuff. Uh, like you said, lucky you didn't use it, so right. it doesn't smell bad in here at all. But And then I noticed that that's just a storage box of stuff, is um, it? That's for like all my motorcycle straps and um, everything. So yeah, it's just got the straps and extension cords and that's really cool. tie downs, things like yeah, that. Yeah, it's really handy. It means you don't yeah. have to have a box anywhere else in here. Exactly. It's just, that. It's just right in the floor. And then and obviously that's the... Uh, the deck or the ramp as well yep. and again i'm impressed that all of the well when you have a proper ac in here yeah there is a proper ac uh some some don't have that they cheap out on that uh mm -hmm. you do have the vents and you have the same blinds yep same blinds so that's it and then you have a bunch of controls here and as you I was, as i was saying you can see the sun coming through here yeah so that's what it was it's just, yeah it's not really a blackout blind is it yeah it's, it's fine but it's whatever it's better than that it's better than having curtains yeah, all those exactly. things that you know we have in ours all right well uh thank you rob you're welcome um thank you for the tour i'm sorry about this <laughs> i do take a little bit of responsibility for no it worries, i'm no just worries. i'm just happy it wasn't um yeah, it worse than used. it was yeah. yeah this could be really bad <laughs> i probably would have left at that point <laughs> yeah, right yeah. she would have been furious yeah i know i know yeah, she's, she's pretty fine. furious anyway but um, uh, so anyway thank you for uh one for letting us video a couple of years ago two for the update and no three problem. for the rig tour and yeah. uh i'm sorry yeah, it took no. me so long to to get back but 
luckily yeah. you're leaving tomorrow so I'm probably just gonna hop on my little motorcycle and clear out and let you guys you know we gotta finish finish packing up finish the work yeah thanks all right well thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any questions for rob and michelle around the pads or the uh, sorry the pad in wilderness rv park in ocala or silver springs silver, Spring. silver springs um and or anything about the brinkley um let them know hit us up yeah hit us up just write the comments i ping it to them and they answer you right. <laughs> so all right yeah don't forget to like subscribe comment uh hit the bell button uh, I can't share it. Natalie's not share. share it. Yeah. Um, and uh, what's the other? Oh, and if you'd like to become a Brazier and support a couple of tits this week, it's Rob and myself. Mm -hmm. Then don't forget to hit the join button where I've put a few members' videos up lately. <laughs> We've been a bit lax. We've been lax with it, but we're getting right. better. We practice. All right. Thanks again. We'll see you next week. Bye.